I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn a very simple technique to write fractions between fractions. You can write as many fractions as you want between any two fractions. That is what you are going to learn in this video. So the question here is find fractions between the following fractions. So we will do two questions which seem difficult but they are not so difficult. Let us see how to make them very simple. The first one is 3 over 4 and 4 out of 5. So we have to write fractions between 3 over 4 and 4 over 5. Now the idea is always when you work this fraction, you should have common denominator. right? So that is key. We should have common denominator. How do we get common denominator? The best way is to find the lowest common denominator. Right? You could have any common denominator, but you could find lowest common denominator to start with. Right? So these two fractions have 4 and 5 as their denominators. So in this case, what is lowest common denominator? 4 and 5 do not have any common factors. So the lowest common denominator in this case is 4 times 5, which is 20. Correct? So lowest common denominator is 20. And what do we need to do next? Next, we have to write them as equivalent fraction. Equivalent fractions. Right? So, equivalent with same lowest common denominator. Is it okay? So, let's see how to do that part also. So, we have 3 out of 4. And we want to write this with denominator of 20. How can I write it with this denominator of 20? 4 times what is 20? This is what we have to figure out, right? So 4 times, we know 5 is 20, right? So times 5. Then, if we are looking for equivalent fractions, we have to multiply the numerator also by the same number, which is 5. So if I do 3 times 5, what do I get? 3 times 5 is 15. So I get 15. Do you get an idea, right? So so that is how we write the equivalent fractions with the lowest common denominator. Do you see that? Let's do it with 4 over 5. So with 4 over 5, I'm looking for a denominator of 20. How do I get it? 5 times 4 is 20. That is what I know, right? So 5 times 4 is 20. So I have to multiply the numerator also by a number which is 4, right? So we'll multiply this by 4 also. 4 times 4 is 16. So we get 16 here. Is it okay? So we get a lowest common denominator. Same. But the numerators are 15 and 16. We are looking for a number between them. While well, it is a decimal number, that is not what I was looking for. So what I will do here is that instead of going for lowest common denominator, I'll further write this with an equivalent fraction of slightly higher. So the next step is what we could do is multiply both by 2. Is that okay? Multiply both by 2. Why are we doing so? Since this really didn't work out for us. There is no natural number between 15 and 16. So we have to go higher numbers. So times 2 gives me 40. In the denominator for the first one, numerator will be 30. And for this one, if I do times 2, we do get 40. Same denominator, 2 times 16, double of 16 is 32. You got it. Now you can see very clearly that 31 is between them, right? So the number between them seems to be between 30 and 32. So the number is 31 over 40. Do you see that? So we could write that number as the number between them. We have a number 31 over 40. Now the question is, if I was looking for more numbers between them, what should I do? Hmm. So you have to do this step again and again. You could go from this to 60 over 80, equivalent fraction, right? 64 over 80, and now you can see couple of more fractions between them. That is 61 over 80, 62 over 80, 63 over 80. Do you see? 
So likewise, you can continue this pattern and get more and more numbers between the original 3 over 4 and 4 over 5. These numbers are equivalent to what we started with. I hope the concept is clear. Now let us practice this with a different kind. So part B here is we need to find fractions between 3 over 5 and 4 over 5. Well, common denominator is already given to us. Then what should we do? Since we have the common denominator, our step is to find equivalent fractions. Is it okay? Now equivalent fractions is the key here. So what you can do is you can multiply both by 2's, you can multiply both by 3's, you can multiply both by 4's, depending on how many numbers do you need in between. Do you get an idea? So let's do it. So between 3 over 5 and 4 over 5, we are looking for some fractions. So if I multiply by 2, I get 6 over 10. And here if I multiply by 2, I get 8 over 10. And between 6 over 10 and 8 over 10, I can write down few fractions, right, which is 7 over 10. Is it okay? But if I need more, I have to write more equivalent fractions. That is the key. So we can write this as 12 over 20. Keep multiplying by 2. That's easy, right? 16 over 20. And now you can write some more. Some more will be between 12 and 16. So it could be 13 over 20 or it could be 14 over 20, right? Or even 15 over 20, correct? This list is endless. We can continue making equivalent fractions. Now double this. So we get 24 over 40, correct? And here 32 over 40. So we get some more, correct? 25 over 40, 26 over 40. Likewise, we have an endless list. Do you get an idea? Right now, you should try writing e uh, these uh, fractions between two fractions with taking few examples. So for you, let me give you some questions like this. You could try with 5 over 7 and, and, and what? And let's say 4 over 5, right? Can you tell me which one is bigger in these two? Well, when you do equivalent fraction, you will know that also. Anyway, so we will try to figure out as an exercise for you numbers between these two, correct? Which one is bigger? Cross multiply. 5 times 5 is 25. 7 times 4 is 28. This is bigger. Okay, anyway, let's move on to the next video. Thank you and all the best.